Hello. I'm delighted to join you all today and I congratulate the host and organisers on putting forward such a wonderful celebration of World Creativity and Innovation Day. I've changed the title a little just in order to reduce the takeaway message in six minutes and to share some explicit key connections with the materiality of the latest practices and thinking from uh, this side of the uh, of the globe. COVID-19 has pushed us globally to find new and vast ways of authoring change and this is involving a mutuality of disciplines, a mutuality of creativities, all the sciences enacting in partnership to create and seek and figure out how to live our lives and realise our responsibilities in a safe and healthy sustained way. And in doing that, we're thinking together, yet apart. Oh, let's call that into thinking. And let's call that about the connections between national and international health systems, national and international economies, budgets, societals, uh, change and education. And a book which has recently been published and authored uh, uh, chapters by our panel also seeks to sustain and create a new ways of thinking about education for future generations. It argues at its core that there should be no separation between science and arts, that that curriculum should be seeking to value diversity of voices, diversity of languages and experiences, and to do this in a way that brings together and connects disciplines. And this means, uh, in essence, that both science and arts are ontologically and epistemologically inseparable and situated at the core of knowledge creation. Thinking about these new configurations of subjects in forms of authorship that is needed in order to sustain life, then we are reminded of Leonardo da Vinci's observational ways of thinking anatomically aesthetically, rethinking, flight, invention, arts at the interface of all disciplines. So this new space for reconnected and reconfiguring the ways we work with subjects in schools is at this point being engaged in not dissimilar ways in society as it attempts to solve the COVID-19 crisis. These three youngsters feature in a chapter that we co-authored, which show insights into how these 16-year-old students see themselves and configure subjects in a mutuality, responding to the question of creating an art piece that shows their understanding of the relationship of maths and arts. Now we see the placement of the car on the left in relation to mathematical expression set in the background as they fade out in perspective. Both are articulated with and through the other. Both are affected by and affect each other. Both are entangled. We see with the middle drawing, Anika's math artwork, which she seems to be finding inventive ways to work carefully with the details of patterns of thinking in their materiality of mathematics and art as predicated on her own view of herself. She's making connections. She's reworking math art realities involving space, time and the mattering of thought patterns. She is offering insights and understandings of practices of knowing. And then we see on the right hand side, a young man who's done a self portrait, a learner from what is learned as a way of being, but he can't separate the learner from what is learned as a way of being and as a form of knowing and his experience of the subjects and how they're judged and how he is judged as a mathematician. The artist seems not to separate the mathematics from the art. He shows evidence of superimpositions, these new patterns creating the effect of difference and mark where learning has occurred. 
but the learner is not separated from what is learned. So in not separating what we're learning at this point with the myriad of markers of what makes us human and this mutuality of disciplines and the mutuality and multiplicity of creativities being performed as we speak, then in this time of COVID-19, in the future post-COVID-19 world, we are being given the opportunity to co-create a new normal. And in this new normal, the making of a common world, co-authoring a new mutuality of disciplines, co-authoring diverse creativities that sustain and unite people across national borders, and co-authoring new partnerships. Finally, to quote Tim Ingold, who it has the last chapter in that book. He says, quote, to tangle our thinking with the tangle of the world means finding a way into and through its labyrinthian mesh. And that is where we are, finding our way through this crisis is a matter of creativity and innovation. It's a matter of co-authoring a new mutuality of disciplines, of new diverse creativities and new partnerships. And I look forward to developing new partnerships with you, through you, and from this conference at a later date. Best wishes to you all.